All right, guys, so this is a new toy I just picked up for uh, Sleeping Beauty, the old 48 8N. It's a six foot wide, rear mounted three point hitch grater blade. This thing is super heavy, super heavy duty. And uh, I tell you, so I got it from, um, he actually used it on an 8N. His dad used it on an 8N for many, many, many years. Uh, they still have the tractor, but don't want to sell it. But, um, and it was a 52 8 n and he said he's always had this. So I don't know whether that makes this 1952 or not, but, um, it does have a tag on it. It's Bush Hog. Uh, I'll post a picture of it. It's a Bush Hog blade. That's what it's called. Uh, made in Selma, Alabama. Okay, the tag is right there, the original tag. Like I said, I'll post it uh, with the numbers on it. But um, I just uh, oiled, uh, greased her up, and oiled it up with uh, lithium grease. And uh, you can see the teeth in the front here, they're open now. I just opened them up. This bolt here opens them up. And you can swing the blade either way or all the way around. And these teeth here, those are controlled by that handle down there. That unscrews, loosens those teeth. And then you can, you can cock it one way or the other like this to get the pitch okay this is a, it's a heavy duty old piece of equipment and uh, this ain't no uh, China made tractor supply piece of junk all right uh, and um, so I think I did pretty good on this deal uh, cutting edge is perfect and um, just soaked me uh, set me back 150 bucks so I think that was a hell of a deal. That's going to be going on the 8N for sure. And with that on the 8N, well, there's the, there's the winter team right there. Going to have the formal with the greater blade on the front and uh, the Ford with the greater blade on the back. Uh, so between the two of them and the snowblower I have, I'm not worried about winter this year. I can't get over how heavy due to this thing is. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for that lift gate, which you can see I still haven't fixed uh, the dent, if it wasn't for that lift gate, no way I could have got this home. I could not have wrestled this onto my trailer. This thing weighs a freaking ton. I backed right up to it, metal on metal, slid it onto the gate, lifted it up, flipped it in. I got it out the same way. Very simple. I'm telling you, man, this truck has been heaven sent. And speaking of the old Dodge truck, you guys have been following me for a long, long time. No, it was this time of the year, last year, I started having all that trouble with the Dodge. Remember, when it was cold out, wouldn't run, stalling, all that nonsense? Well, it was 28 degrees this morning. Started that truck right up, took off. I drove it about 40 miles to pick up this greater blade. Didn't miss a beat. So... Uh, the work I did to that truck definitely uh, fixed the problems. Just uh, mentioning that for you guys that uh, I've been around my channel a while and know what I'm talking about. But the greater blade here, I'm really happy with this, man. Really happy. Wasn't really looking for one, but it popped up on Craigslist. And um, I really thought I was going to have a lot of trouble with those two gears being frozen. But I didn't. I, uh, it's got a grease fitting on it, too. See right there, it's got a grease fitting. I shot some grease in there. I sprayed the um, lubricant in there on both sides. And uh, shook her loose. She's swinging around, no problem. So, um, looking forward to get this mounted on the 8N. As soon as I do, I'll show you how she looks and show you how she works. So, uh, Sleeping Beauty just never seems to get more work. There's always some, another, another implement coming in to uh, keep her busy. So, it's, uh, this is going to be great, guys. A great team we got there. Farmall and Ford. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Book them, Daniel.